Hi there, my name's Jasmine De Charlie and I'm just doing this um, short video today just to highlight um, a few energy update areas really that are going on um, in our current situations because uh, we are um, in the midst at the moment of um, the Black Lives Matter protests and movement and an awakening that's going on um, around the globe and the planetary alignment that is in play as well. So we've got obviously um, the energies of Mars and, and uh, its aspect to the sun that have been creating some of the tension. Um, and if you think about um, Mars it can be uh, yes it's that fighting like you know that fighting like determination and I'm going to do this and this has to happen so it's that determination it's like that warrior kind of um, energy but it can also go the other way where it can um, be you know like the looting and the um, deaths and uh, it rules um, cuts, wounds, things like that. So all of these things are Mars energies. And when it's making that aspect to the sun, the sun, obviously when the sun's out, you know, we uh, it, it kind of, it, it sheds a light onto things. So that energy with the sun, it's shedding a light onto a lot of the Mars stuff that is going on. Um, so in terms of these two planets, and obviously, you know, with the tension, the aspects of it creating the tension and the unrest, it's not an energy where, um, you know, um, people are going to sit back and, and not do anything. Um, it will be affecting everybody more or less on some level. Some people more than others, depending where the, where the Sun and Mars is in their own charts. Um, so that always plays a big part. So how people are going to react and respond uh, will be dependent on their own chart um, aspects. And also the, um, the, their kind of level of evolvement in terms of their own self and, um, you know, maybe some work that they've done on them. So like, for example, um, some of the very peaceful protesters, you know, maybe it, it's somebody that's uh, very well aware of things on a much more higher spiritual level, um, but still feel that, you know, they need to play a part in being active in uh, the demonstrations, etc., so that it, they are part of the collective to have that voice and give that voice. Um, and that's very much actually also about the Mars because you know the voice and speaking and 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 maybe that's linked into some of the um, other planets uh, the aspects that are going on at the moment because we we you know have got Uranus uh, in um, Taurus at the moment and so you know Taurus is also like sudden awakenings and sudden things happening which is why uh, obviously with the lockdown you know um, the sudden sort of everything, you know, came into a lockdown globally all around. And and uh, Taurus very much is the earth. Um, I always see it as, you know, the earth because it is an earth sign, but it's also um, that lower level of the earth involvement. And so it was interesting, you know, like with the lockdown, how so much more connection um, happened to the earth. Uh, everywhere and you know so um, and then we the um, aspects with um, Neptune as well and and that I, f I feel that that is very much linked to the, the virus but also uh, with what's going on at the moment it's um, also very much about uh, secrets being rising to the surface and things being exposed um, and also a dissolving um, so like a dissolving of the outworn and 
outlived. So like, you know, we are now seeing um, in a way a dissolving that's happening of the um, historical sort of um, thing that kept the, that kept the, um, you know, the sort of like um, oppressions and towards um, black people, especially in America. Um, but obviously, you know, that always ripples. Things always ripple out to everywhere else as well. So it becomes like a common thing. Um, so part of, um, you know, that dissolving is now that this, you know, things have to come to the surface first. And so a lot of things have been coming up to the surface and then the dissolving can happen. Now, the other interesting thing uh, with all these planetary aspects is also the, uh, you know, the expression because the, um, the uh, Taurus, uh, as I said, it's the earth sign, um, but it, it does it does rule the physical body and it rules the throat. And what I found really interesting, actually, with this Taurus um, energy and the throat and the body, um, now it's a it's very sensitive, you know, very very sensitive. But when I think um, about the fact that everybody is now making the awareness of this energy our life or life force energy uh, about you know the breath and that uh, what happens when our breath is suppressed um, you know by somebody else or or, or you know in uh, under certain circumstances how that feels and how that affects us all of us you know so um yeah it, it's um it's kind of like interesting the taurus you know because it is the physical body and i always feel that taurus rules rules the throat as well so you know so many people are kind of like uh, as a mirror image to what happened to george floyd so many people are are feeling that on a global level and that the neptune will the Neptune is kind of going, you know, it's it's the compassion. Neptune is very much about compassion. And um, the two words in terms of the coronavirus, actually, um, corona and the Sanskrit word corona, karuna, however you want to pronounce it, karuna or corona, um, it means compassion. And it means compassion, but it means compassion in a way of a dissolving, the dissolving I was saying about the Neptune. It's about the dissolving of what's standing in the way. So if, uh, you know, things are standing in the way, such as oppression, that is harmful, that has to dissolve away. It has to dissolve away. And, um, you know, the... Um, other interesting thing about the Black Lives Matter movement is uh, is also going to awaken with you know like the uh, Uranus in in um, Taurus is it's going to be opening doors for all the other communities that have been suppressed and oppressed as well because already we are seeing things now about like the Native American Indians and um, other other communities and we're going to find that there are lots more communities now coming to the surface and are fighting you know for their rights their freedom their life and um so this is where you know we are going to see uh things come into the surface and then the dissolving um of of what needs to go what needs to go i mean like uh what it, when we went into lockdown, I, I had a dream of a snake. It was sitting on our planet Earth. And then as I went into the dream, I saw that it was actually shedding 
the skin and I felt that that dream was very symbolic for me, for everybody on a planetary global level. And interestingly enough, yeah, it's happened for the whole planet. And it was today, actually, that I saw somebody else's post who had put a post on of just the skin of a snake. And she said that uh, she actually saw that and came across it. And she said that she had been affirming to herself, I let go of my past, I let go of my past, I let go of my past. Um, but she said she didn't know that her seeing that skin of the snake, it was just the, the skin layer. And she says she didn't know that if that was like um, confirmation for her. When I saw the post, I commented on there to say that, um, you know, it was definitely confirmation for me because <laughs> having had that dream and having sort of had that experience and then, you know, the last few days I was actually feeling and thinking that now the, the skin has been taken off because of the movement really going forward with everything. Um, and so she was, you know, <laughs> grateful for my message on her post in terms of, you know, my dream and the experience. And, and then I said to her, like, you know, um, embrace your new beginnings because they are coming. So all these energy things are very interesting and um, how the planets play a part in what goes on. It's, it's just really, really interesting. Um, you know, I mean, I've been reflecting so much with, you know, on stuff that back in the 70s um, and 80s, because I uh, remember I was so deeply touched, even at that time, with deep compassion for um, the black communities and what happened to them in terms of the, the slavery, because I was watching, you know, following the uh, episodes on TV about... Um, on roots, the slavery, uh, and the pro, you know, each episode I used to be glued to it because it was really kind of in a way breaking my heart, but it was knowledge, it was learning. And then I also experienced and was in the heart of Birmingham, actually in Hansworth, when the, the riots happened. Um, and you know, it's a very sort of similar thing to what's going on now. Um, yeah, so there's, there's lots of things I could just mention and talk about the, you know, the, the synchronicities, the synchronicities and how things come round, you know, again and again and again, again and again. Um, but, uh, hopefully this is going to be moving us forward much, much more than, than we have been able to in the past. So... I hope you've enjoyed this energy reading video tied in with the planetary alignment um, and a little bit of awareness with the, obviously our current situation. Um, not feeling so brilliant myself today as you may be able to see from my eyes um, but you know still gonna keep going and um, yeah so I will try and do another video very soon on the solar eclipse i'd love to yeah do one on that so hopefully next week um i'll i'll do that but in the meantime um stay safe stay stay well look after yourselves and if you want to uh, drop me a line just um, send me a message and um, look forward to speaking to you again soon take care